Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, new video. I was uh, thinking about recording this video because uh, some people told me that I really wanted to know how my daily life was, how my week looks, what am I doing during the week uh, when it's about language learning and how am I able to maintain the different languages. So this is a question which some people ask me. So, um, so during this video I want to talk about my daily routine, my weekly routine, and uh, also uh, about how I maintain the different languages which I speak and that's where I want to talk about, all right? So first of all, how uh, does my week look, all right? So how's my week? Well, uh, every week is different basically, you know? So I'm not always uh, doing the same, having the same activities. But when it's about language learning, that's the topic during this video, is uh, I try to learn most languages in the morning. In the early morning, I try to study languages uh, and because in the morning my brain is stronger and I can absorb more material. So I try to do the more uh, active ways of language learning in the morning and the more relaxed ways of learning, language, uh, learning languages in the evening. So for example, watching a movie, a series, or a video uh, is something which is more relaxed to do in the evening um, because then your brain is a little bit more relaxed. You already had a busy day, right? So then in the evening, uh, I try to do a relaxed ac activity. So I also recommend to other people to do the uh, same in the evening. Don't put too much stress on yourself because you're sleeping better if you are more relaxed in the evening and if the act activities are not too crazy, you know, if you understand what I mean. So don't put too much pressure on your brain, okay? So uh, during, uh, what I try to do, if I look at how many hours per day I learn languages, I would say it's a couple of hours. A couple of hours per day I try to learn languages, okay? Um, mostly I talk, uh, I, I speak languages by talking to strangers. That's what I try to do mostly, okay? And uh, I think that's for me a very relaxed activity because it's something which I'm already doing. Like it's a sort of like my social life. And I think that if you're putting too much pressure on yourself, uh, I, I think it's not good for your for your brain. So that's why I uh, why I think uh, it is good to do something which is more relaxed for you. So for me, in my case, uh, it's good to talk to strangers. For someone else, it may be better to read a book. It really depends on the personality. Okay. Um, in any case, uh, I think it's important that you're doing something which you're already doing, okay? Besides that, I also like to check out uh, live streams of uh, other uh, streamers. Uh, like, mostly I try to watch streamers who speak a language which I speak on an intermediate level. So, for example, German, Spanish. If I check out a streamer, I try to, whatever, use the language in the chat as well. Often they even want you to use that uh, language if the stream is, for example, in German or Spanish. They like to you to use that language, so it's perfectly to practice the language, to get to know people in the community, and that's really good. Okay. Besides that, I also try to use the languages which I'm learning by, uh, as I said, uh, I'm, I'm talking to people on the streets, but I also have like a lot of polyglot friends who also speak uh, those languages which I'm learning, and uh, sometimes we're even practicing by switching between those different languages which we have in common. It's a great training because that's helping you to not just focus on one single language, but also to review all the other languages which you've learned so far. And that's great. Um, I also think it's good to make notes. So for example, whatever activity you're doing, uh, let's say you're watching a movie or uh, you're watching a series, whatever, make notes of the words which you, are, uh, which you just learned, write them down and make sure to use them uh, in other phrases. So that's what I try to do as well. But that's more the evening. So yeah, short explanation. During the morning, I try to do more of the uh, intensive language workouts by learning new vocabulary, grammar rules, etc., etc. in the early morning. Uh, I even try to do the hardest language in the morning, and then later I try to focus on the easier language because as I said, in the morning, my brain is more active. Okay, in the evening, I try to do a more relaxed activity, and during the daytime, I just try to talk to people on the streets. Uh, in average, I have a couple of hours of language practice per day. Okay, uh, well, languages are also part of my job because, like, I'm like a content creator. I make videos uh, and I create content, so uh, it's definitely, in my case, a little bit easier to practice languages because I use it for my work, which is creating content. 
So that's why I can also use the languages. Some of you guys also know that I'm uh, selling art at a windmill village and there are also tourists where I can practice languages with. So that's also like another way for me to use the languages which I'm, uh, which, which I'm practicing, all right? So uh, I'm doing different uh, activities. It's always different. Uh, as you guys know, I'm live streaming on Twitch, doing videos uh, for my YouTube channel, and I'm also selling my art, which are all, uh, which are three, uh, three different ways of practicing languages. And that's why it's so easy for me because it's already a part of my work, what I'm doing. So if you are doing anything else and you cannot use the languages for your work, then it's a matter of using the languages just in your free time. And um, yeah, in any case, try to do, try to have a look at what you're already doing. So which could be, uh, for example, let's say you are, you like video games, then try to play video games with other people around the world and try to communi communicate through the headset. That's like a great way as well. Or if you are, if you like to cook, whatever, then uh, maybe try to check out a channel which is about cooking, but it's in a different language, all right? And try to understand it and again, make notes of the things which you're learning. So that's always important, write down the words which you don't know, try to put them in a new context. That's always like a great way uh, and that's really cool. So, okay, now, um, yeah, I wanted to uh, tell you about uh, like how am I maintaining the different languages because that's also a very common question where I definitely want to talk about a little bit of coffee um, how am I maintaining the language as well basically I already gave the answer uh, it's just a matter of like a strategy all right so you need to make sure that any single language which are in my list that I try to practice them unfortunately there are some languages of my list like Buryat and Jamaican Creole which I'm barely speaking so it's like fading away. Uh, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff about it. It's like really bad news. But the most common languages which I can practice, uh, I, uh, I'm slowly improving them. So there's like a list of languages which I'm using a lot. Those are also the languages which, are, which I speak better. But then there are also languages like, for example, Japanese, which I barely use. And that's why I really, uh, yeah, that's why I have such a low level in Japanese because I barely... Brexit, uh, there are less tourists right now and uh, it's really a pity, but the only thing what I can do is like focus on the languages which are going better and languages like Spanish, Portuguese, German, French, um, they, these are languages which I can speak daily and those are also my stronger ones. So uh, another way of maintaining languages is to make sure that you maintain the contacts with the friends which you have and uh, you could have a video call with them, you could uh, write messages with them, maybe even sending emails uh, in order to use the language. And I think it's always like important to have a combination of writing, reading, listening, speaking, and each part is important. But I still would say it depends on what your goal is. What What is your goal? Do you need the language because you want to speak it? Do you want to write it? Or it really depends on what you want. Like in my case, I really want to communicate. So reading and writing is not as important for me as for some other people. So uh, I focus mostly on speaking and not so much on reading and writing. Um, in any case, I'm very happy that I was able to, uh, yeah, to, to, to make this video because like, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, like it's not my strongest point to explain things uh, in, in such a video like this. I mostly like to create videos on the streets but still a lot of people asked about this video, so I thought, okay, let's just go for it. I try my best, um, and just let me know if this is helpful. And again, there's so many other channels where people talk about language learning. Uh, each method or each way is valuable, and for everyone, uh, a different way might work. So have a nice morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Keep learning languages.